WFO Radio getting ready for the greatest spectacle in racing, the 100th anniversary of the Indy 500, here with the 18th starter, EJ Viso for KV Racing. EJ, 100 years of this race. Well, it's amazing just uh, to know that we're going to be part of a race with uh, such a tradition, uh, such a history, and to know that I'm going to be part of it, knowing that... Uh, I'm already in, I'm already qualified in the sixth row in the outside in a position 18th. Uh, to be honest, a qualifying position is not that important in such a long race, in a race with so many variables, uh, so many pit stops, so many changes of strat strategy. Uh, you know, all it matters is to have a solid race car that is going to take you to the end. And we hear so often football, baseball right now, the Miami Heat are big down here. Uh, about what the athletes go through in preparation for the big game or the big moment. You're a week out right now, just under a week out, from the biggest race of your life. Every year it comes back, it's the biggest race of your life again, because whoever can win the race, it changes their life forever. How are you going to handle this week? What kind of preparations are you going to make so that you're in the perfect condition, physically and mentally, on Sunday morning? Well, I believe that a driver needs to have three kinds of preparation, just uh, physical preparation, mental preparation, and just a professional preparation is like anybody in a professional life will have. So I think this is a week that pro probably the professional preparation and physical preparation are not going to be the most important ones. I believe the, the mental preparation is going to be the most important one, staying clean in your mind, uh, already start thinking of the race uh, a lot of uh, I call it mentalization just start doing laps around the track putting as many things as they would they would happen in the track and start just you know working laps around the track in your mind and that's what I do that's the way I do it a lot of people a lot of drivers use uh, simulators I know they use uh, videos I know they use video games but I believe a lot in my mind and that's the way I've been doing it all my life. I don't, I pretty much don't watch any of the videos or anything. I only write my own references and then I, I work on them inside my mind. So for the time of the truth, when everything happens, everybody's, it's very, everything is very familiar for me because I, I practice it many times. Probably I'm gonna do 100 or 200 starts of the race before the actual race star comes and that's going to be all happening in my mind and that's what is going to be going on this week for me. Now you've driven all around the world some experience in GP2 and I'm always curious as to the legend of Indianapolis outside of the United States of America. Are drivers still thinking I want to go there and I want to win and I want to get my face on that trophy and the dream compared to the reality. Now you're going to be in the middle of a uh, 33 car start coming real soon three wide what is the discussion about Indianapolis outside of the United States in in talks of will I get there can I get there and once I get there can I win well you know what uh, anywhere in the world it doesn't matter which category in which place in what kind of car racing you do Indy 500 is the biggest race so then it comes up to the you know the chances that a, a driver can have to come and participate in this race. Definitely being a race car driver is very difficult to put the packages together because you don't only, uh, it's not only you, you know, you need to have a car, you need to have a team, you need to have sponsors and in these days getting sponsors is one of the most biggest difficult things and you know to put that package together is what it makes it difficult but I'm sure that any driver around the world wish to be competing in this race and that's why I feel very lucky and fortunate being part of it especially the fourth time. Now the total package that you're with this year has got a lot of experience. Kevin and Jimmy of course KV Racing and now bringing Tony Kanan on board it's got a lot of experience and determination. Do you feel like this uh, this group has what it takes to get it done in the end? Definitely they're very experienced at the same time we're competing against very experienced people. We very racing against Roger Penske, Chip Ganassi, the Andretti family, just as big or even bigger and more experienced team. And that's why it makes us work even harder than them just to, to go and beat them. So far in this year, we had a great relationship with Lotus. Lotus is taking part of the team and, uh, you know, having also Tony on board. Jimmy is very 
uh, interactive and proactive in the team. We've recruited some people from other teams, and I believe that we have a much stronger team than last year, for sure. EJ, let's say it's uh, 1 o'clock next uh, on Sunday. Are you ready to drop the green flag on this thing and turn it loose? Is there any, uh, any one thing that you can do to put yourself in the best possible mind state to take the green flag for this greatest race? To be honest, uh, you also don't want to overdo. You don't want to overthink of this race. I think the right way for a driver to approach such an important race is to take it as any other race because the more thoughts you put on this race, the more things you do for this race, probably the more mistakes are going to make you do. You know, I think as long as you try to stay clean, to try to stay out of any issues, any problems in the track, try to, you know, hit your marks every time in the track, try to understand what is going on around, the weather, the wind, the, the wind direction, changes in the car, to understand who are we running with in the track, to study each driver, you know, we have, there's some stupid drivers in the track that they don't think the same way and for them every lap is the last lap. There's some other respectful drivers that you can race with and uh, it's just about putting all those thoughts together in the race. Other than that, I think that the race needs to come to you little by little. A track like Indy is not a track where you want to overdo. It's a track where it's going to start coming to you. You don't want to. You want to be very delicate with your material, with the car, with the mileage in the on the fuel. You want to be very nice as well with the tires. If you overheat the tires by having a little bit of understeer, they're completely gone, and you can be easily two, three miles off the pace. So things like that, you want to be very thoughtful of and other than that just approach it as any other race. EJ congratulations on qualifying and uh, even better luck in the race thank you so much. Thank you so much guys uh, thank you for your support thank you. EJ Viso going off 18th in the greatest spectacle in racing.